One second. Yo. Y'all can hear me? Yeah, that guy. What's happening with y'all? What up, bro? Shit. Chill. We're just talking about this flight tomorrow. Mikey, what's good? What's going on with you? Chilling. How you feeling? Shit, straight. A little tired. How was practice? That was smooth. That was a little shoot around real quick. Man, uh, Mike. Talk so about, uh, man, we chilling, man. Just talking, talking junk real quick, man. Hey, look, Mikey, do you remember when we talked that time and I asked you, like, man, do you want, like, are you ready for all this stuff? What was it, Utah? Yeah. Yeah, hell yeah, I remember that. And his exact word was, man, I want everything that come with it. So it's funny to everything see you. Everything that come with it. Man, Love it's that. funny to see you living everything. it now. But, now nah, it's crazy, like. I ain't going to lie, like, all this, like, all this to come with it is so extra. Like, I just want to be, I just want to be great just like everybody else. But people don't understand. People think that you put in, like, people think that niggas put in work for the social media part. Like, bro, that's just come with it, bro, to be honest. Like, that's just something, that, that's just something to come with it. This ain't what you work for, though. You know what I'm saying? You work to be great. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody get everything mistake calling people Hollywood and stuff because they got a social media following. Like, people right. are interested in what they got going on, but... All that is the extras. Like, you don't work for that. You know what I'm saying? Bro, you got to think. Mikey, man, his dad wrote me. I did some rankings. His dad wrote me and was like, man, I got the number one player in the country. From that moment, he went all around the country and dominated everybody. He didn't Chasing play everybody. California. He didn't play in California. Hey, keep it hey, keep it real, bro. Do you remember all the people when you first started out that was saying he was like 18 years old? I know you remember the haters. Yeah, bro. yeah. Since I was just <laughs> great. Hell yeah. <laughs> when he, Man, when he first had played, when they were saying, shit, they be saying shit, they be saying I've been in high school for like eight years now. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's crazy. Like this dude literally went and everybody who was supposed to be good, he went and played them. I don't know if his joint froze. Look like his, his joint froze on yours? Yeah, it's froze on mine. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, he really in this joint though. He just that's said add it. He, he said add him bro. back. You said what? He said add him back. All uh, right. How you remove people from here? I don't even know. This is my first <laughs> time. <laughs> Let me see. With that first one with Global Grassroots, you got to jump in, Rich. This man, yeah, this Mike is you and Mike. My fault. I actually, I actually swiped off you, motherfucker. It's all good. Yeah, yeah. Hey, another yeah. thing about Mikey, he been cursing to me since he was a kid, and I, I used to be like, man, do I supposed to let him curse while we talking? Like, <laughs> I ain't mean, I ain't even, I ain't even noticed that, but I just, come on, man, how you talking? <laughs> I'm gonna be myself, bro. Hey, talk about. How life has changed for you, bro. I mean, I know you. I know you go through a lot of stuff that people don't know about for a fact. You said, say that again. You said, you said, say what? I said, talk about how life has changed for you, from you know, just three million followers, all the stuff you got to go through that people don't know about. Man, you got to move. You got to move hella like. You got to move like hella different. Like you know what I'm saying? Like it's a lot of things that people could do that I can't do. Like. Being certain places, going certain That's places. Crazy. I gotta, I gotta go places with people. Like I miss being able to go to the like. I miss being able to go to the store and stuff by myself. Like I miss being able to go to the mall by myself. Like, I gotta go deep now because you know what I'm saying you gotta watch what people be on. Like people be on some jealous, hating shit. So you really gotta watch out that. Right. Like, you gotta watch what you post. I mean, I, I'm still myself on social media. Like I don't wild out how I want to. You know what I'm saying? Right. But I'm still gonna be my. I'm still gonna be as like pure. As, as I can be, I'm gonna be myself because that's what everybody you know respect me for me being myself. Man, talk about just showing up because to me, that's one of the biggest things about you. You, you gotta you, you, you the negotiations with a lot of stuff. You know, you got you got a, 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 a Hemi charger. You got you could you could really be relaxed and chilling, but you still <laughs> show up. And you put on a show <laughs> because you understand. <laughs> Oh, no, thanks. I remember Kobe had, Kobe was doing an interview one time, right? And he was like, uh, 
I think his I think his wife was like asking him like why you don't take no days off type thing, you know what I'm saying? Like he was injured I guess and he was still playing through the injury or whatever. He was like, Man, like all them people that saved up to come watch me play, like I don't wanna disappoint him and let him down. And on top of that, I just like the bright lights. Like, you know what I'm saying? I like putting on the show. You know what I'm saying? Most definitely. Like show up and show out, like now, and I know I see y'all talking about Bronny and all that. Now, before the game had happened, Bronny did let me know on, like, I think he got there Friday. He let me know Friday morning, I think. He was like, hey, I'm just going to let you know. Like, also, G, also G shit, like, how he supposed to do. He was like, hey, um, I ain't going to play this weekend. You know, my knee is messing with me, this and that. So, I already, I already knew Amari wasn't going to play. Amari had to get surgery on his foot. He had tore something in his foot. And then Bronny had let me know this and that. But I was like, damn, I was disappointed, though. I was like, man, that shit going to be fun. But, you know, you still got to go lace up. You know, they still they still got good players. Like, they still have some five stars and all that. You know what I'm saying? They have Mike. They had Kajani. They had uh, Isaiah. They had, they had some good players. Like, but, and if, we, if we win the first game in Vegas, we're going to get the fade back. So, I know they're supposed to have more players by then. Would you would you disappointed though that they wasn't playing for real? Keep it real. I, know, I was disappointed. It was gonna be fun, but I told them once they get healthy, we're gonna have to run it back like towards the end of the season, or, or you know what I'm saying? Something like that, or maybe when that season ends or something like that, because I know California be weird with the rules. Cause we uh we not like affiliated with a high school organization, so California don't let uh CIF teams play prep teams and all that. So we're gonna figure something out though for sure. Hey, hey Mike, let me ask you something. How was it this summer playing with Coco? Man, that's my dog. It don't get it don't get no real in Coco. <laughs> I told I told him he hit me up and was like, "What do I think?" I'm like, "Man, y'all made for each other, bro." Bro, what I'm telling you, man? He Coco, gonna tell you up every time. Oh yeah, he one of a kind, bro. He do he do it for us too. Like he don't want that. He do it for us, man. I love that dude. He real. Definitely. He as real as it gets. Most definitely, one hundred. Hey, what, what's the what's the what's the craziest shit you've seen? Like. Since you blew up, it like got to be that to shit game. in Kansas, bro. It got to be. Oh yeah, yeah, Kansas, Kansas was crazy for sure. For, hey, hold, on, hey, hold. On. Let me get back on this, Bronny calling. Yeah. Look at this, right. Bronny calling me. I hit y'all back. God hey, damn. he got he got phone calls coming in. Juice, what's going on, baby? Uh, what's up, bro? I just got done eating, man. Just got done eating, bro. Juice, you know Rick? What was y'all talking about? Hey, Rick, this is my dude, Juice Made Hoops, right here, man. What up, man? How you doing? Nice to meet you, bro. I'm good. Nice to meet you, bro. Nice to meet I don't you. know if you ever, ever checked out his page. I but, see. Uh, I went on his thing. page when y'all was doing stuff. Yeah, I checked him out for sure. What y'all What y'all think about the, the Zaire Wade going to the G League, man? That's in the title also, man. Jeez. Uh, I got seen your video about it, uh, you know, with Dwayne Wade. He's been working hard. You know, he put his son in position. And like you were saying, bro, I agree with you. Like, I respect, you know, his dad put in all this type of work to help his son. And I don't know how people are even, like, bashing Zaire for that or even Dwayne Wade for that. Because, like, I feel like that's what every parent and son, that should be, like, a goal for, like, for people, you know. So I just don't understand how people are bashing it. I honestly like the move. I would do the same thing if it was my kid, bro. And I'm sure anybody would do the same thing, you know. But that's just how hey, Mikey, we, we talking about Zaire Wade going to the G League. A lot of people saying he only going because his dad on the team. But I like it, though. <laughs> All right. All right, Zaire, Zaire, man, Zaire putting a lot of work. I've been messing with right. him forever. I know we got real close when uh, overtime had through that little event. But, nah, like, he, he he's true to the grind. It's a little harder for him because – even with all these dudes, we got, you know, folks in the NBA, especially their daddies and stuff, like, people do the same thing with Bronny. But at the end of the day, it's only going to be one LeBron James. You know what I'm saying? It's only going to be one Dwayne Wade. So they got a little harder, like, with the uh, criticism and stuff. But, man, Zaire, Zaire trips with LeBron. I'm happy for him. Man, that's one thing I like about y'all young kids. I will say, for the most part, that from, from what I see and hear, most of y'all show love to each other, bro. It ain't no hate shit going on. Like, right. most of the niggas I know, like y'all, like y'all show love to one another, bro. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, at the end of the day, my nigga, all us trying to win. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't never going to have hatred towards nobody. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just, I'm just, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see everybody win. Because at the end of the day, like, shit, I want to win. It's going to be cool. Like, 
coming up, getting into the league and seeing everybody else. Like, even with the class that just got drafted, like, I know I was close with some of them dudes. Like, I, I was sitting there, like, damn, like, dropping tears for them. Like, I just be happy when people, you know what I'm saying, like, to see their goals. Like, I know Jalen, when Jalen got drafted, when Josh, Sharif, all them got drafted, I was like, damn, like, that shit crazy. Like, we talk, this is what we talk about at camps. You know what right. I'm saying? Like, even with even with TC, all he man, I know TC since I was like sixth, seventh grade. Boy, all he talked about was being a pro, and like even to see like all like all his brothers and stuff. Even to see just all of us doing good, making it. Like I know he's proud of this for real. Like that's that's our dream. We don't care about nothing else. We don't care about nothing but getting there. Hey man, the thing about it is, um, everybody don't have to make it to make it. Like LeBron brought a lot of people. Up. And I hope everybody had that type of mindset, man. Like LeBron made a lot of put a lot of people in position, man. Right, so not like, even yeah. basketball wise, that, just film wise. That's, 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 that's what I love about him. That's that's exactly what I love about him. Like I told all my I told all my folks, like, I got my little solid little crew. Like I'm gonna make sure they straight. You can't just like I, you don't want no leeches. It's just around right, beating off. You know what I'm saying? Like you got to be productive, but. I can invest in you being productive. You know what I'm saying? Like, should I do it now? I can invest in invest in somebody who wants to get after it. You know what I'm saying? Just give me a little extra push. Mm -hmm. That's hey, what it's you, all about, bro. How you how you keep the hunger though? To to, shoot, made it yet. to still want to get better and go to the league. I ain't made it yet. Yep. So I, I'm gonna keep this hunger until I make it, and then even after I make it to the league, you, everybody that make it don't stay there. So, I mean, that's another kind of hunger right there. But, that's, that's, like, that's people crazy. think it's hard. People think it's hard just to make it into the league. It's like people will get to the league and just stay there for a year, and then they'll get sent down to the G League. It's like a mental thing. You know? Honestly, Another... making it to the league ain't even about being the best. Like, it's it's, it's politics to it. You got to – like, they got to like you. You know what I'm saying? Because there's a lot of dudes with game who don't stay in the league. You just, yep. it, it's it's all politics, man. Like it's a lot of stuff behind it, bro. Hey, talk. Hey, talk about the politics, though. How the the shoe, the bro. Nike, the Adidas. Talk, <laughs> talk. Let's keep it real. Talk about the politics because it's a lot of politics, not only in the White House but in this basketball mm -hmm. world. Man, it's all man. It's all about knowing people and having relationships, man. That's that's all it's about. Like, I mean, y'all see, I don't really gotta speak too much on the Nike, Adidas, unarmored thing. Like, y'all already know what's going on. Like, you know, like certain people run certain areas, so they gonna make sure that as a as a business, as a company, they look good. They on top. You know what I'm saying? Like. It, it's 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 not really much to it. It's just it just is what it is. To be honest, <laughs> man, it is what it is. It's it's not no it's not no secret. It, I want you to touch on like what's a normal. Give me a normal so the kids that's watching. Give me a normal like week for Mikey Williams. Like working out. Like get up. What you do? Like what do you do? Give me a normal day of a hard working day for you. Oh man, well. Get up, get some school work, and you know what I'm saying? Or I might work out before I get some school work. I mean, with our schedule, like, we can get our school work done, like, in whatever time of the day. So I might work out. Whatever, well, whatever it is, I fit school work in there. But I get in the gym. You know, I'm really – lately, I've really been big on sleep, for real, because, like, I ain't going to lie. I was doing, like, three days at one point, and it just wasn't healthy for my body. Like, I ain't – I ain't getting no recovery in. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? Like, do all the extra things. And that's, like, huge on your body. When you 9, 10, 11, 12, you can do all that. Like, I be seeing the little kids, they be playing, like, six games a weekend and stuff. I be like, oh, hell no. Nah. Like, it's going to catch up to you, bro. All that's going to catch up to you. I really, I really focus on taking care of my body. Like, I've really been focusing on that lately. But you got to get in the gym. I probably work out before practice and work out after practice or something like that or – work out in the morning or whatever, but I really, I really just try to like chill because your body, it, it needs rest. Like as much work as you put in there, you need times two of that to recover. You know what I'm saying? Right. Your, bro, your body, is that's the, that's the most important thing. Once that's not working, you're done. What about your diet? You got to have a good diet. I, I ain't going to lie, I tried to go a vegetarian for like, Eesh. A minute, like it was, it was, it was the second ago. I, I ain't last, but like a week. So then I just went pescatarian. I stopped eating meat. I last for like two months, but 
you can't put too much bad stuff in your body. You can get away with it when you're young, but at the same time, like a lot of people don't know, like cancer comes from food. Like all that. Did you I, notice? Did you I notice a difference though? Like within that week? I mean, I was like, I probably wasn't. I probably wasn't doing it long enough to notice a big difference. But I know I had more energy when I was uh when I went pescatarian for that little two months. I had I have I had more energy. I had lost a little weight. Um, the thing is though, like I'm I'm solid. I don't really I really kind of stay the same weight. Like I'm like in that little one ninety five area. Like I'm the same weight. Like I mean I I got a little leaner. You know what I'm saying? But I had to lift weights because I didn't want to lose muscle. And on top of that, I it was hard. Like I wasn't eating as much. I don't know what it was, but I, I just started eating again. Basically, I've been eating like twice a day. Like my sleep schedule was messed up for a little second though, but I just got back on that. But food is important, bro. I'm telling you, cancer comes from food, bro. That's oh, exactly nice. what I come from. Nice. People don't know though. <laughs> People do not know. So I'm I'm a, I'm gonna ask you a real question. Do you like what you think about when you go on YouTube? I'm not sure if you watch stuff and you see people talking about you. How do you feel about people like us that talk about the basketball world? Like, what's your I, opinion? I, 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 I do not watch any of that. I, like, I promise you. Like, I don't even be watching. I think I stopped watching my highlights in, like, eighth, ninth, like ninth grade. Like, I stopped watching them. Like, I go, if I search my name on YouTube, it be a million videos I ain't seen yet. Like, I don't even bother watching them, though. Like, I don't even, even want to let that shit get under my skin. Like, I be seeing stuff on Instagram, like, like, uh, shit, the little lies and stuff you be doing, I be seeing that, but I really try to stay away from the whole YouTube stuff. Like, I don't even be on there for that shit just irritate you. It irritates you too easy to get under your skin. Like, people be speaking on you that don't even know you. People be making making stuff up. They don't know what they talking about. Then you got people believing in this. Like, oh, hell no. Nah. I'm just stay off of here. What's, what's, the cra what's the craziest shit you heard about yourself? You be like, man, what? I didn't even know that about myself. <laughs> craziest thing. <laughs> Man, somebody somebody was trying to like tell me how my somebody was on YouTube trying to tell me how my summer went. Talking about I went to Jamaica and shit. I'm like, bro, what? What's going on with y'all, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, they be making they be making anything go for real, bro. Hey, look, no, this is a question. Like, how did you get NBA Young Boy to talk to you? I've never. He don't talk to people. <laughs> you said what? How did you and NBA NBA Young Boy collab? Because he don't even talk to people. Like. I know people that he done done features with that said, nah, he just don't. Uh, um, I, so I had, I, I know his OGs, Montana and uh, D. So they had hit me at like, man, probably like, uh, I went to his concert last year before the, uh, before the pandemic. So they probably hit me like a few months before that. Like, I already really know who they was. I was going through my quest. They was like, man, we must be part of the family type, this and that. So I'm like, it was like, yeah, come out here, this and that. We get you right, blah, blah, blah. I was like, all right, like I didn't know who it was for, so I wasn't paying no attention. <laughs> right. So I was like, I was like, all right, I, I, I tapped in with him, I tapped in with him tight, and then shit. Who you about I, to go? I had came. Hold on, I'm about to uh, go to the house. Go to house? Yeah. I had uh, what's it called? I had tapped in with him at this concert. I had went to his concert, um, and I had went backstage with him and stuff. So I knew I had new ten and three and all of them. So. And baby Joe. So I had met him um before he was finna perform, right? And then it wasn't really much said. Like he was like he like how he be like in, in videos and stuff, that's how that's how he really be in like real life. Like he just real late, like he just real like he just watch everything, like he real quiet. So I had Dr. Mutt and Mikey said top like we knew who each other was type, but it it, it, it wasn't really no talking. So and he went performed, and then like probably like later on in the week, he had hit me on Instagram. Was like, he's just like, "What you on? Where you at?" This and that. So I was like, "Shit, I'm chilling." This and that. So he was like, "Shit, let's get in the gym." So then we had gotten the gym. Um, then I was like, I was like, "You be hooping, like, cause you don't really know about his private life too much." You know what I'm saying? So I was like, "You be hooping?" He was like, he was like, "Nah, like I don't even know how to hoop." So I was like, "Uh." I was like, shit, bro, fuck with me then. <laughs> Cause I was like, you ain't gonna hit somebody talking about some shit. Let's hoop. That's like me hitting somebody up talking about some, hey, let's get in the stoop. You know what right. I'm saying? Yeah. Like, shit like that. So then we just been cool ever since then, for real. Like, he a real cool dude, for real. Like, it's just, I don't know. Like, he he real he real laid back, but it's my dude, though. How do you, how do you feel about, like, cause I know a lot of kids look up to you, bro. Mm -hmm. how do, do you feel like, 
kids in high school, middle school, they should like invest into like the social media side of things because that can also help with rankings. You know, I getting mean, books I feel like, like if you, I feel like if you, that, that's a good question. Like, oh, because there's a lot of money to I be made. You know? I wouldn't invest in social media to get put on. You know what I'm talking mm -hmm. about? Like, I would, that's not something I would invest in to try to get my name out. Like, if you're hooping, you're doing the right thing. Like, they're going to find you. Oh, Shit. Yeah. Like, they're they going to find you. That's what happened to me. I was, man, I was nobody. I was just, like, everybody was trying, trying to get, I wasn't even trying to get put on. I was just still focused on my goal. I ain't care about none of social media, none mm -hmm. of that, bro. I was just trying to get, I was just trying to get better so everybody I can go. And then shit, the social media, all of that just came with it. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, it, it's and, and it's different. Like people like me and, and and other people with this kind of following, like it got to be something about you that's special that make people want to follow you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you and some people, they be fake for the cameras and they be, you know what I'm saying, doing too much. They be trying to be a crowd pleaser. You know what I'm saying? I ain't I ain't knowing that for real. People just mess with me off off of me being myself. I respect it. Facts. <laughs> like I, I told somebody, I said I, I have a hundred thousand followers. If I came on here and put a wig on and did a whole bunch of crazy uh -huh. stuff, make TikToks crazy TikTok, I have a hundred thousand followers right now. I swear to God I would. Man, I, I don't even be on TikTok. Everybody be like, you use TikTok, you use TikTok. I'm like, man, I just be watching TikToks. So I don't even be on that for real, man. I Talk probably had if I use TikTok, I probably had double the followers, but I ain't I ain't even doing nothing for no followers, bro. Mm -hmm. Hey, talk about how important it is to have a team around you because you got a solid team around you, man. Like your uncle, you know your cousin. Oh man, that's definitely important. You don't want no, you don't want no snakes in your circle, none of that. Like it, that's the most important thing. You got to know how to move the people around. You got to be solid because you only as strong as your weakest link for real. Like that's what happened, that, bro. That's what be happening to rappers and all these dudes. That's how they be getting killed. That's it, bro. Everything like they don't be with solid folks, and then they be with too many folks at the same time. Like you don't know who to trust. You know, when you with too many people, there's no way that you are gonna trust all twenty people you rolling with. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you, you gotta keep keep it small, keep it tight, and keep it confidential. You know what I'm saying? Like one thing you don't want is your business getting leaked. And I know people make up rumors and stuff, but you got solid folks around you. You know what I'm saying? And me, I got a lot of I got a lot of OGs around me, so I know ain't no ain't no BS going on. You know what I'm saying? So anything you hear about me is man, it's shit, it's a hundred percent cap. You know what I'm saying? Because we don't really mess with too many people. Yeah. So like, you really but, care about like your image on social media? Because like you were saying, a lot of people say a lot of cap about you. A lot of people will say this, this, and that. But right. you don't really be, you know, coming on platforms and like saying stuff about it. You kind of just like let it go. You man, know? I let man, I be letting people. I let people, man. I let people run what they own there. Man, I, I don't, I don't care. It ain't, it ain't helping me. It ain't hurting. I'm, I'm still doing what I do. So I don't really care too much for what people got to say. I really don't feed into it. Like I just, I, it's, it's real easy for me to ignore things. Like on social media, like little, little, the things people like. Make up now when people make up whole stories, that's like different. When they be, when they be, all right. like they got the inside on shit. It be like, all right. Like, <laughs> but let's let's be honest though. One thing I learned about the social media stuff is people in love with the bullshit, bro. Like people that, love bro, the that's what, they love the that, bullshit. They don't like the positive shit. They like the oh, bullshit. <laughs> yeah, all right, bro. That's what, bro. That's what social media is, bro. I'm telling you, like anything, anything. It really be anything negative. People just doing, even people doing dumb shit. Like, remember that that crate stain that people was doing? Yeah. <laughs> like, not, 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 trust me though. I got humor. That's that. That, nah, that should be funny for that sure. Funny. It'd be funny, but like <laughs> people was out here doing some positive shit. You know what I'm saying? Like people want to support that how they do other shit. Social media is for social media is for views, bro. You get paid off of them views. That's, that's all it's for, bro. Like, um. Uh, this is a basketball question. Like in this summer, um, I you play a couple. Of times. Uh, say that. Say that one more time. I said this summer I saw you play a couple of times. How was it for you um, transitioning into like a a more traditional point guard role? Because I saw you play against Compton Magic, and I was mm -hmm. impressed because I saw you pass up open shots to get people better shots. Um, right. A few years ago, Mikey wasn't doing it. Nah, 
You so, it, it's really it really be on some like I got I I could have took them shots. Like I mean I've always been a playmaker to be honest, but right. at that time a few years ago I had I had a point to prove. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 like I had you was on kill game. mode then. Like, I was in kill mode, but I was in kill mode in a scoring way. I'm still right. in kill mode, but I can let more of my game show. I've always had that kind of game because that just comes. I used to play quarterback. So me being a quarterback, that's what you got to do. You got to make plays, you know what I'm saying? Especially when ain't nothing going on. You got to scramble. You got to make some shape. So I'm always good at doing that. But at the same time, I can be selfish when I when need to be. But I'd rather not be selfish because at the end of the day, like, basketball don't work like that. It don't flow like that. Mm -hmm. And that's that's the thing. Like, me and D. Rich, we went to see you for the first time in person. At least I did. That's something, like, I just – did not know like you were so good. Like, he was making some passes that your teammates they didn't even see, and I was like, okay, Mikey's kind of far ahead. And is that just like coming that's, from training? That's, that's that honestly, just... nah. That's just feel for the game, bro. You can't you can't train like touch exactly. feel. You know what I'm saying? Like that. That's just something like that that I've always kind of had. That, that's that's like a gift. That's not really something that's in your bag. You know what I'm saying? Like that's really mm -hmm. a gift. That's just something special. Like my passing is underrated. Like, I think that's one of the best things about my game is I, I'm able to see plays for happen, before that happen. Like, I ain't going to lie, like, when I go to high school, it, it's harder for me. Like, when I be when I be going to a little open runs with the NBA dudes in the summer, but that shit is so easy. I'm telling you, everybody know the game. Everybody know what's going on a play ahead. So, I may, like, I'm making reads, and, and they understanding them. You know what I'm saying? They, they in the right spots for the passes, like, the floor is more space. Like I think that's that's what my type of game is. Like high high school is like okay, you get double team, ain't no spacing. People trying to stop you from scoring forty. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, I can go score forty on any night I want to. Like now your shots ain't gonna fall every night, but I have nights where I have shit. Say I got twenty, ten, and six. That's a bad night for me. From a social media standpoint, people in there bashing me, but people don't really understand the game. Like. I let the right. game come to me. I don't really go out there forcing them. You know what I'm saying? And and in the summer, you playing 17 U. A lot of people rank, try to rank people above you that's playing 16s. Bro, I ain't I'm like, the 17 lie. U game I, different. I, 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 ain't even, I ain't even gonna lie. They told me I dropped in the rankings because I wasn't winning. That's the only reason I keep dropping is because because I, I, I wasn't winning in the summer. So I was like, man, I thought that shit was supposed to be like Skill, you talking about team rankings and shit. Make to make team rankings, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't gonna lie, I don't really care about that no more. Cause I mean, I mean, I never really did, to be honest. Like, like I said, I got one goal. I'm trying to get to that L, bro. I'm telling you, nobody at the end of the day, nobody cares if Trey Young was rated. I don't know what he was ranked in high school. And that's why I be telling viewers like rankings just do not matter at all. Bro. Yeah, if you make it to the league like getting paid millions of dollars, I'll I'll be ranked number. 126 in high school if I'm still going to the league. <laughs> and then on top of that, and then on top of that, us being able to get paid now, man, you think, man, I don't give a, I don't, man. <laughs> rankings, man, funny. rankings is funny to me now. Like, man. I think I, it's just for conversation man. purposes. It's just for right. conversations. I feel everybody, like. everybody got their own view. That's all, that's all it is, is somebody's opinion. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. I had, somebody had dropped me on the rankings before. I'm like, bro, I had to ask me. I don't get. I don't get into it. But it was like I wasn't playing bad. I was playing smooth. I was playing solid. You know what I'm saying? Like everything was straight. I didn't really do nothing specific for me to drop. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, bro, like what? What? Tell me. Just tell me what I did. You know what I'm saying? Like tell me what I need to get better at. Dude, like why? Like why did you? Why did you drop me? I, I feel like I've been playing solid. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like he was like, oh, you uh, y'all wasn't winning. He's talking about we all can go. He was like, oh, y'all wasn't winning this and that. I was like, shit, wasn't really nobody. Everybody was just beating each other during the summer. I was like, wasn't nobody winning, but he he couldn't give me an exact an exact reason he dropped me. So that's what it's the politics. And I played on the Adidas circuit. If you notice, all the Nike kids shot up. Like all the Adidas kids dropped. Shit, Chris played it. Chris had a hell of a summer. Ain't no way he should have dropped that low. You know what I'm saying? Like that's <laughs> that's where the politics play into it. But like I said, that's Nike's area. You know what I'm saying? They're going to make their business look good as they should. You know what I'm saying? So, and, hey, really I joined in on some of that EYBL stuff. I'm thinking I'm about to watch some of the greatest basketball in the world when I tune in. Bro, EYBL is – bro. That shit be I'm the same care. shit as anybody else. Bro, EYBL is nothing special, bro. I'm telling you. Like, even as team EYBL has – I think EYBL has more – 
more like players that are already on, like they have more popularity at the UIBL. But I think honestly, I think Adidas teams are better. Like Adidas, yeah. Adidas got some real teams. EYBL do too, but I think EYBL got more, more like squads. Players, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Like they got more popularity over there. I was watching them in. I thought I was about to see some half court sets and shit. Oh, I see the up down, up down, turnover, up down. Up. I'm like, what's so special about this? Man, nothing special. It's all the same, bro. I'm telling you, it's all the same. I stuff, mean, bro. and then like, bro, one thing I had to realize too is like. You just being Mikey, there's cameras at every single game that you play in. It's not the same with, like, these other players. So I feel like people actually kind of, you know, critique you a different type of way just because they see the flaws and they also see the goods as well. But we don't – I feel like other people don't see the flaws of other ranked players that may be ranked ahead of you. you that, that's always how it is because they don't expect certain things out of those players. You know what I'm saying? Like, that just yeah. goes back to me, like, saying that everybody expects you to get 40 points there a game, and it's like, bro, I'm, I'm past that. Like, that don't yeah. – well, I don't got no more to – I don't got nothing to prove. I just got to keep everything tight. You know what I'm saying? Like, people be like, oh, you got to go prove yourself. Who, who, who I got to prove to what? <laughs> like, you know, like, I, what I got to prove to who? You know what I'm saying? Like – if I don't get 40, it's look, it's crazy because shit, people might only watch me one time. Say I'm not hitting shots or, any, or anything like that. Like, you're not going to hit shots at a game. You know what I'm saying? Like, ain't nobody that good to where they just don't have no bad game. Like, right. say, I, say I have a bad game, a bad, nah, I say a bad scoring night because I ain't never going to have a bad game. I'm going to have a bad, everybody got bad scoring nights, but I think I can affect the, the game in different ways. You know what I'm saying? But say I got a bad scoring night. Shit. Oh, that nigga overrated, you know what I'm saying? Like, he he weak, he ain't this and that, you know what I'm saying? But you under the radar, you having good games. It's like nobody knows what you can do for you showing people a glimpse of what you can do. So that outweighs all the negative in your game. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you're under a microscope, you can see more things. Right? You know what I'm saying? Like, more things stand out. And people, they do it with LeBron. People be so fast and ready to uh, to critique LeBron on everything. And it's like, I, I don't think it's to the point where a lot of people don't appreciate what you what you bring to the table. People just take stuff away. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, somebody in the group chat said, what happened with that situation when you was in the dude's face and then say she's posted it? About <laughs> oh, man. Man, they, bro, bro was talking crazy to me the whole game. <laughs> so I was piped up. Like I was ready. Like it was crazy before the game. I was just like, I was just like, bro, I need, I need to get back on my. Like if you notice, like the past, the past year and shit, I've been, I ain't really been piped up. I've been like, all right, let me just play the game. You know what I'm saying? This and that. Everybody talking about some. Like even, even, uh, even the dudes that be doing the rankings, they be like, uh, I remember I was watching film one time. He was like, see, you, you couldn't, you didn't have to say all that. And I was like, bro, are you like? Ain't no way you just said that to me. Like that's that, that's that dog. So I ain't even gonna lie. Like last year, all year I wasn't even playing. With, I wasn't playing with that dog. You know what I'm saying? I was just trying to play the game, like act like I did it before. But I was like, hell no! Like I need to get back on my freshman vibes. Like that's when I was at my best. I get back. I get back on my. You know what I'm saying? Just that that dog. That don't even mean being cocky. Having dog in you does not mean you cocky, bro. Like you can be humble with that with that dog. In you. If it's in you, it's in you. You know what I'm saying? You can't put it on and wear it. That shit got to be in you. You, know you had saying? that shit in you since you played blue chips in at the USDA, <laughs> bro. Since since shit, since I played blue chips, bro. I'm saying like you you see when 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 it's in you and you don't play and you don't you know what I'm saying you don't play with it like you're not the same. Like I t I just told myself like, I got to get back on that tip, bro. Like I was talking to Amari about it. He was like he t he went crazy last year. I was like twenty on some other shit. He was like, bro, get back on your freshman vibes. I was like, shit, say less. Before the game happened, I was like, shit, I'm about to go for 50. Shit, I went for 50. As, as since that, I was been playing with that dog, that swag again. You know what I'm saying? Everybody You think that me. game was better than your 77-point game? Because uh, where the God, God is is tough. Like, this, that's a good team. Oh, nah, yeah, they good. Yeah, they, they good 50. for sure. They got some players. I think uh, oh, uh, it's going to – I don't know. It's going to be – that, that's a that's a that's a hard question. I, I probably had games better than my seventy seven point game. Like it's just the flow of the game. Like now when I had seventy seven, like I was hella efficient. I only had sixteen points at halftime. I ended up with like fifty two and a third. 
So I was just hitting hella shots, you know what I'm saying? But I obviously wasn't playing no good team. Like that game, that game was made for me to break the scoring record. Like I was now it wasn't like we was playing some dudes who just couldn't dribble. Like it was, you know what I'm saying? Like it wasn't like that. But that game, like Seven, I was like, all right, I'm gonna break the scoring record. It was crazy though. I had like it was like three, four minutes left in the game. So the scoring record before that was 76 in San Diego. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna break it. This and that had 77. Coach ended up taking me out on some stuff. I was like, oh damn. But I broke it though. But I think I've had better games. Like I, I say when I played the blue chips in sixth grade, I think I played I had a better game uh, in that game than when I scored 77. <laughs> like I can, I can, I can do more than score. You know what I'm saying? Like, but that's the thing. Like you don't have, to, you're gonna have to do that, bro. Because like just the size that you are. How tall are you? Like six two? Like six, six two, three. six three. That's what I'm saying. So it's like in the league, you don't have to be a point guard. Like you have to. So it's a good thing that you're actually developing your game to be that playmaking type of point guard. You know, because you can't just be in the NBA scoring fifty every night. So if you can, you know, pass nah, and score the ball. Hey, hey Mike. Mikey, give me what you think um, your twin in Alabama going to do this year. J.D. Boy, J.D. finna go crazy. Even with J.D., people don't understand. Like, when me and J.D. used to play together, bro, J.D.'s a point guard. J.D. Hey, is a out to Randy. point guard, shout bro. Out to Randy, Mike. Shout out shout to Randy, Shout out to Unk, bro. I'm saying, like, when me and J.D. played together, I came off the bench. I ain't even, bro, I ain't going to lie. I ain't even play some games. Like, I was just like. <laughs> Shit, I would. I, I ain't even come. Off the, I ain't even come off the bench some games when we was in middle school. But like, bro, JD, JD is a true point guard, bro. He's a killer. I'm telling you, JD is a killer. JD gonna go crazy this year, for sure. Hey, who? Hey, who? Who? Who holds you accountable? Like when you, let's say you don't have a good score out, scoring out. Who? Who holds you accountable after a game and tell you what you need to work on in your circle? Yeah, unk, unk do it. Um, my dad helping his two cents. You know what I'm saying? Like, that, and then myself. Like, um, like if I if I if I have bad a bad night or something, I know what I need to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you know, like not too much need to be said for real. I know what I gotta do. I know what I gotta do to get better. You know what I'm saying? And we gonna and we gonna go around. I'm just gonna ask one more question. I know you got stuff to do tonight. I don't know yeah. how much time you got. <laughs> but my last question is, man, what you think about this down to prep situation? I gotta ask that, man. <laughs> hey, it's it, it's it's crazy. My man, my man's uh, my man's Rico, who be with Rob, he had came in, he had came in the room, right? And he had woke me up out my bed, bro. I'm talking about eight in the morning. He was like, "Hey, if you need me, like just let me know. Holler at me. I'm gonna go to L.A. You know what I'm saying? What what we doing this and that?" But, Kanye got us. I'm like, what the like, what the hell going on, bro? Nigga woke me up on my sleep. I'm like, what what's going on right now? I'm <laughs> like, man, I, I ain't even know about it, but I guess situation had had be, uh, been getting worked on for a little second or something. I ain't even know about it, but like, I, I still don't know how I feel about it. Like, I I ain't seen no coach none of that. Like, I don't, I don't know what's going on with that, but I mean, I hope it worked out because everybody left their school to go there. So I mean, I hope they get the most out of it. You know what I'm saying? I hope it's not a step backwards. Man, Kanye the coach, bro. They said I'm pretty sure y'all end up playing them probably. Oh no, we gonna get the fade for sure. That's one thing. I don't run for nobody. See, I want to fade everybody. Let's do it, bro. We gotta see you play DJ Wagner this year, bro. We gotta see, you play bro. I've been trying to play DJ. It's, it's a lot of stuff behind it. Like it's it's a lot of stuff that goes behind it with the with rules and all that shit. Like I, I guess, but I've been wanting to fade since shit, freshman year. Like I don't, I don't got nothing. Everybody think I got something against DJ. I don't like DJ or something. I don't got nothing against DJ. DJ, you DJ, just, DJ, a great player. Like I hope That's I hope he make it to the league. You know what I'm saying? Like. Yeah, I hope I hope he make it, but I, I want the fade still. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I've been I've been trying to get it. You know what I'm saying? But I guess they got some stuff going on over there. I don't, I don't know what the hell going on, bro. All I know is like it just it just couldn't happen or something. It wasn't on our end though. Do you feel All like right. Do you feel like he wasn't around? Kind of like that in middle school. Like I never really peeped him. I I ain't really I ain't really see him at all. Like. I don't, I don't know how how that even happened. Like, I, I went up to New York and saw him. And I don't even know, Michael, we talked about it. Um, we saw him at the league finals, too. Remember in Louisville? Yeah, he was young then. Like He was, he was like sixth grade. Yeah. But when I saw him, I knew he was different. I'll say that. Um, one quality that he got that I like, he a leader, bro. Like, mm -hmm. 
vocal. Like he gonna tell you what to do. Like he's a good player, bro. He is. He is. Um, mm -hmm. Mikey, if there was any um any current NBA player um you think you play like or you could play against, um, who is that? Donovan Mitchell. Shit, I, I knew I, he was I, in a uh, second. I had, I had, I had hoop. Matter of fact, I had hoop against him uh, like a few weeks ago. Matter of fact, in Miami, we was a design. Right? Oh, bro, for sure. That's exactly who I was thinking. Mm hmm. That's a he a combo guard. We like the same heat. We like the same size. And so. y'all got the same build. Y'all big. Like, uh huh. Yeah. Big. Hell yeah. That's you? I think that's my comparison right there. Juice is on you. Shoot. Uh. I don't know off the top questions I got right now. Um, I don't know, bro. Let me think. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but e either way, man, I just appreciate you jumping on this one. That that talk about you know staying solid, bro. Oh, we, no, you're we solid. Talked about how, man, like day one, you always hit back. You always you always answer, bro. I truly appreciate that, man. Oh yeah, bro. I like bro. Real recognize real. I ain't on no Hollywood shit. You know what I'm saying? If you real. Uh, so I'm gonna mess with you. A lot of people unfollow motherfuckers when they get older, and <laughs> I'm <be> like, damn. <laughs> like it, like solid folks. Like you know, what I'm saying everybody gonna follow people, but I only unfollow people I don't really talk to like that. I don't got no business, you know what I'm saying with you. Like that's a little different. But if somebody's solid to me, you know what I'm saying, like it's gonna stay that way. I'm gonna respect you. I'm gonna mess with you. You know what I'm saying? So I, I appreciate you joining, bro. Oh, no, Go home, get some sleep. Eat, eat, eat some good food, man. Yeah, yeah, I gotta catch this flight to Vegas, man. We play, uh, shit, we play Shane and Sharp on Friday and shit. So. Hey, you see that news? You see that news that just came out, bro? I just saw that he might no. be what going to Kentucky, probably. He might be going to Kentucky early. Oh, for real, shit, it makes sense for him. He liked that. He ready. Man, he ready I, I, I hope, hope y'all get to play each other, man. That can't be two weekends yeah, in a row where some shit happen. <laughs> nah, we uh, nah, nah. I think I think they said his ankle was messed up, but I think I think my twin Amari told me he's from the play, so I hope he play. You know what I'm saying? And then if we, if we beat them, we we'll get that fade back with us here at Kane in this game. Man, hopefully it work out. I'll be watching. I ain't. I'm not taking no more trips. No more. <laughs> nah, bro. We oh yeah. Go. Right, we yeah. gotta go, bro. We gotta. Yeah, I'm not. Go. Yeah, I'm not taking no more I, trips. I, 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 I'll confirm it for you next time. Please, I'll please. <laughs> I got you. Yeah, yeah. Please. Not, I appreciate y'all though. I'm gonna tap in with y'all. Yeah, for sure. I'm gonna let you. All right. Yeah. All right, but I, hey, I think after that, that's a wrap, man. I <laughs> let you. Appreciate you, D man. Nice yeah. to meet you, Deuce, Most definitely. Yeah, you too, bro. All right, for sure. I'm off here. Yep. All right. All right.